they won't get the energy. She kind of messed up for the uh, on turn one with that. It's like I knew it, but it didn't came to my mind. But you know, stop making excuses for something that's happened in the past. Click every single card, okay? Click every single card. Now let's pet the Pachirisu. It automatically does the last one for you, but you have to click the order. Yeah, automatically the last one does it for you. So that's something we learned. That's a lot of energies. All right, one big, big, big more Snuggly Generator. Snuggly Generator, everything. One, two, three. Uh oh, that part of the remix is not is still broken. Acoustic version. Alrighty then. Hello, Nobles and the Frenchals. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you mouse. I don't think that actually tastes good, Donald. Let's not think about that. I'll be serving you Raichu GX. Is Raichu your favorite Pokemon? Well, I don't suppose you like this deck. Actually, I just like mouse in general. They're playing rodents. Let's continue. All right, Raichu GX was upgraded in the latest expansion because a new Pokemon really, really helps it out. Pachirisu, yeah, from Ultra Prism, helping a cart all the way back in Shining Legends. Is it called Shining Legends? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. So, what does Pachirisu do? Now, carefully, it says Snuggly Generator, it gives every Pokemon that knows the attack, Nuzzle, your Pokemon by the way, a lightning energy. Hmm, okay, so it do it itself knows Nuzzle, but what else? Pikachu. Ah, oh, so every Pikachu on your bench, you can have up to four, gets an energy. Yeah, so what happens if you have a full or almost full bench? You will get lots of energies, and that just combos with powerful spark. Oh, the more energies you have, the more damage you do, which with a certain item, or items, oh yeah, the combo, the combo gets really good. So, it's a little bit more details here, just not not too much. I'm gonna explain to you how this deck works, which I did for the most part, and you're gonna see it in four awesome matches. Yeah, get straight to the point. Let's get started. Today's intro is gonna be Classroom with Elite, because I need something more electric. Yeah, so, it's also a pretty decent anime. Uh, if you look at the uh, romance uh, drama ones. So, uh, let's get started. Raichu GX, let's... I suppose let's break down this card. Alright, so going back. Raichu GX is stage one. It evolves from Pikachu. You know what's nice about stage one? They have such a nice good share of stats. 110 damage. A little difficult for certain Pokemon to KO. They're gonna have to work for that uh, KO. And uh, it's attacks. Powerful spark. We talked about that. So... For every lightning energy you have anywhere on any Pokemon, it is 20 more damage. That's why Pachirisu in about two turns can turn your Raichu into a complete monster where you one-shot KO with this two energy attack. It's not really two energy, but for the Raichu, yeah, it's a two energy attack. So, but it's everybody every other Raichu's gonna have two energy. The thing is, here's the problem when you're setting up. If you evolve it too soon, it will not get an energy. It does not know the nuzzle tag. It's like, yeah, duh, Donald. But Donald does just somehow just evolves it anyway when he knows he shouldn't. So that hopefully didn't happen after in too many matches. So anyways, there, there's that. Now, Powerful Spark does scale very well, but you need a little bit more. You need a little bit more juice. That's why we have two choice man here. Yeah, 30 more damage tends to let you hit those nice numbers much easier. And it helps out with his second attack. Emergency attack! We have lost too many energy somewhere, somehow. We don't have that one hit potential from uh, Powerful Spark, but this second attack might. 160 base, 190 with the choice, man. And you can start to hit lots of GX Pokemon's one shots. Guz! Buzzwall GX! Uh, no, Guzzlord, you need the first one. Buzzwall GX, the big fighting Pokemon that you're weak against. You can one-shot it. Oh yeah, you guys will be one-shotting each other for about the same price. So, ah, uh, weakness damage. You might be able to overcome that. Ah, what else? What else? Voltail GX. You do have a GX, but it's a little, uh... You're, let's say it gives your opponent room to counter it. It always paralyzes. Always. They can't attack. They can't retreat! 
Unless they have a trainer to bail out, which every deck has Guzma, so that's why... Hey, you might just up to 120 damage for nothing. Well, you're only gonna use it if you're desperate. You really need them not to attack the next turn. Then yeah, go for it. Follow up with the end, shuffle away the card, and that might work. So, that is the main combo. You also have one final backup Pokemon that can really change the game. Yeah, Tapu Koko GX, what does he do? Well, if you open up your, what, you have a free bench space somehow, which you will. These Pachirisus don't live very long and you're gonna open up the game with less prize cards than your opponent. <sighs> That's how it goes, but they'll be worth it. But however, that bench space will be free for you to throw down Tapu Koko GX. And what does he do? When he comes down, you can move energies from your other Pokemon, such as Pachirisu. I mean, the energy, it's not gonna attack. Once it's done with Snuggly Generator, it's going to the discard or it's just a waste of space on your bench. But at least you can move the energies off and put it onto a new Pokemon with Arrow Trail. It'll always switch into the active and you have a good two-hit attack. Yeah, this attack always two-hits any Pokemon. Unless they have some boosted hit points with some items. Even so, this is 260 over two attacks, so very likely not. Finally, it has your strongest GX. This GX is 50 damage times the number of energies your opponent has on their Pokemon. All their Pokemons. So we're looking at 3 with the Choice Man. You can start hitting some weaker basic GX. 4 is the magic number. You're going to want that Choice Man. You will get a lot of Pokemons with that. 5 energies across all your opponent. Nothing survives that. So uh, those are your magic numbers. Yeah, GX. You can suddenly just toss it in. Pop a GX, get a KO, and it's much better than Raichu's GX, because it does more damage. And they can't really stop it. So, that's that. Now, that is the main combo. Let me see, is there anything that I should mention? XP share is going to be big. You want to maintain high energy counts, and when these Pachirisus are going down because, yeah, they only have 70 hit points. I mean, they're getting you energies, but you will lose them, and you will give your opponent prize cards. This one energy... Every energy counts. It's gonna be able to, uh, your Raichu's, whoever's wearing this, is gonna be able to save the energy up and use it. Hopefully it's a Raichu. If not, that's uh, okay. Tapu Koko comes in and just uses it anyway. What else? I think that is it. This is mainly the deck engine parallel city here because it's busted. If parallel city goes on your side, you will have only three bench space and three nuzzles isn't that, that good. So how do you stop it? Put your own parallel city out there. They can't put, replace a parallel with a parallel. We even flip it around, so that's part of the rules. It's for self-protection, and it just happens to be one of the most busted stadiums in the game right now. Yeah, so that is that. All right, I've done talking. So, Raichu GX, this is the most updated version for Ultra Prism. Here we go, let me show you what it can do. Ooh, Lunala. All right, Lunala. He's got quite a cool deck. Welcome to another Raichu GX patch using Pachirisu. Yeah, so Pachirisu Acceleration. I uh, I got two more cards. I think I'll say yes to that. Pretty nice. Man, man. I start with Bridget all the time. All right, so I'm going to play my remix of... This is a game on a DS. I don't think it was that popular, but it's a time-traveling RPG. And because I like Chrono Trigger, got me interested, and I, I liked it. I liked it. And then this is a big boss fight scene, song from uh, that particular video game. All right, here we go. Gotta make uh, gotta make Dark Track Neos the final boss of this video. So let's get to it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and discard two cards. Do I need Choice Man? You know, it's that if it's that Lunala. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and discard these two. Uh, I already have a draw supporter. Let's see, Bridget. Are you here? Bridget's not here. Okay. She is prized up. In that case, we're gonna change our priorities to we do not care about Bridget. We do not care. We're definitely gonna pull out, uh, instead, Pachirisu. Yeah. Okay, pull that out of there. Don't worry, we got alternatives here. Okay, the energy is probably gonna go for this card. I'd rather float stone that front up front. Okay, we can, you know, we, the more, the more they can receive the energies, the better. We're gonna thin our hand now by playing this right here. Throw down the Parallel City. Limit his turn one opening move. If he has a, if he has a Bridget, he's gonna have to take that out. Ooh, okay, wow. No Bridget, that's okay Bridget. 
I've got this covered. I've got this covered. Pikachu. Pachirisu. I don't know why I need another one now. You know, because you just only really want one. So uh, we'll end up discarding another energy, but two super rods, that's that's necessary for this. So let me go ahead and uh, check chat real quick. Double check. Are you streaming again tomorrow night, Dark Integral? Probably not Pokemon. I got to keep my Pokemon. Uh, I think three three Pokemon streams a week is going to be what uh, I'm shooting for. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Dawnwing the Crossbow. I'm going to focus on trying to go around, do something that I, I'm interested in. So, takes away the parallel series. I got it covered. I'm not going to get stuck by that. Ooh, this thing's almost ready. Almost, almost ready. But let's see if he, got, if he has another Max Elixir. He's good. So, let's see. He played Cynthia. He played everything he could. And we do have the Super Rod, but not just yet. I don't need that just yet. It can jump in any time. I need a retreat. Actually, I do need a Super Rod now. Let's go ahead and retreat. Let's go ahead and play out Super Rod because, hey, two energies. It's not three, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get another Pokemon down, which is another all four Pikachus. All three Raichus here. Oh, only two Raichus. We have the Super Rod, don't we? Yeah, we do. Let's be greedy. And I need the extra cards. I need to pull that Raichu soon for the future turns. All right, so we have both. He has to jump in. He, um, no, I think you know I can get good value by thinning this right here. There's the last Super Rod. Be careful with that, Donald. Now you don't want to evolve the Raichu right now, because you know it's not going to work. So, uh, well, they won't get the energy. She kind of messed up for the uh, on turn one with that. It's like I knew it, but it didn't came to my mind. But you know, stop making excuses for something that's happened in the past. Click every single card, okay? Click every single card. Now, let's pet the Pachirisu. It automatically does the last one for you, but you have to click the order. Yeah, automatically the last one does it for you, so that's something we learn. That's a lot of energies. So, next turn, if for some reason things don't work, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do something here. That has three energies. That's almost ready. You gonna come out and start beating up my Pachirisus? I got another one. I got another one. I'll get all my energies first, and I'll come back later if you want to do that. Shana! I guess he really wants to conserve, uh, really want to conserve his, uh, you know, cards. Because Cynthia is better than Shauna. I don't think it's too hard to get. Maybe it is. But the other, the other, the other supporters do have some sort of penalty. of Dark Flash! Goodbye, you. Now this is where you want the XP share. I'm probably gonna give up two prize cards for that. Uh, do I wanna get the, not now, no, play this, yeah. Let's go ahead and play N. That's gonna, no, I'd rather play, the, save the Cynthia for later. No XP share, guys. You can't get another Pachirisu just, just for that fifth energy. How about I just drop this down? See what what, what what I get? Yeah, just for that fifth fifth energy. You want that fifth energy, Donald? And you can take a Capo Coco. We'll see it later. It's one extra energy, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And then we'll do the recycling afterwards. Alright, one big, big, big more Snuggly Generator. Snuggly Generator! Everything! One. Two. Three. Uh-oh. That part of the remix is, not, is still broken. Acoustic version. Alrighty then! We will give up another prize card, but hopefully we will come... This, this Pikachu... This is gonna go out for vengeance. The problem is, uh oh, 220. That's a little hard to get KO us on. We still have uh, two cards that can bring vengeance. Two cards that can get a KO right now. One is Tapu Coco. The other is the Raichu himself. So uh, this time around, I'll probably put the float zone here if I keep my cards. Wish Baton. Okay, Fighting Fury Belt. We have we have sacrificed two Pachirisus. They have gone down for the greater good, guys. All right, these big Pikachu's. They will avenge us. Yep. I actually can attack again. I can attack with another Pachirisu, giving up three prize guards. Well, anyways, we just gotta have a float stone for that, anyways. Now, we probably may need to put a Raichu, because I didn't see those. Okay, play that right there. Alright, we really, really have to get a Raichu up now, guys. Or Tapu Coco. That bench space is there for Tapu Coco. Well, Tapu Coco is like, who cares about Raichu? I'm the real star. But with the GX, I'm not able to get the KO. 
So I may just end up going, did I play that super rod? No. Snuggly generator isn't going to give me as much value. And that, this thing, this thing is keeping him alive. My GX is not going to do enough. But I don't want to, there's no value in Pachirisu right now. Go in there. Move energies off you. You don't need that. Take energies off you. Take energy off you. Done. I can't GX because of that very, very, uh... You know, he might have a two removal. I don't think I'll get a KL next turn. Okay, in that case, we can't use our GX. Alright, Jews are missing. They don't want to grow up. They want to stay Pikachus forever. It's like, no, that's that's the anime. That Pikachu doesn't want to grow up together. You guys don't pretend. You guys don't. That's a bad example of a Pikachu, okay? Uh, my Pikachus, they evolve. They're going to become grow up into big, powerful Raichus and defeat my opponent for me. And uh, this is where, um, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so. Hey, it's Nurse Joy. Gonna go. Yeah, this is the juggle deck. Ugh, so we definitely have to... Well, he got three energies. We can GX this. In fact, we don't have to GX. Well, yeah, we'll probably GX this. And then we'll be very close to our, our defeat if uh, we don't get uh, what we need pretty darn soon. Dark Flash. 120. So I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to risk a loss. Uh, let me see. He has 180 hit points. This is a choice, man. So why retreat? No, let me let me go ahead and play a choice band first on one of these right shoes. Let me go ahead and play Cynthia. May uh, I may have something that may change my mind. What I do, I may get a float stone. That is, I do get a super odd. I don't need to super odd Pachirisu or the energies back now. Let me see right shoes damage. If I retreat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, six, seven, seven with the choice band. This should be enough. I mean, it should be enough. Then I'll just GX this. Use him, not give up a prize card immediately. I could GX, but then I automatically will give up this prize card. Ah, me and math. It's enough. Seven. Plus the 20 is... Yeah, you got it. You got it. This right you, you don't need that. This one, you don't need help. Retreat! Don't give up that prize card easily. Now is a good time to play your Super Eye, because you don't want to lose those energies back. Actually, that means we better get a, that right you out of the prize card pretty soon. Actually, we're gonna do it now. How about that? Get rid of Sycamore, get rid of this, give me another right you now. Yeah, put it on the one that's gonna have the XP share. Or maybe I don't want the XP share one. Yeah, it's gonna fight. It's better that way. Here we go, powerful spark! Woo! Take that out. We've caught up in prize cards. It has the trigger, the activation of its GX. It's really, 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 really strong, but it's not uh, up yet, so we'll leave it there. Okay, use the GX. It does 250 damage to Player John. Yep! But I still have my GX. It's around. I could GX, but I. the reason I save this is because I don't want him to get too close to victory. If he gets too close to victory, then... Yeah, now he has to use a Guzma to get this out, which, you know, hurts the card pools. And that, that, that's there, so that's... Oh, we got the Raichu that's missing from the... Uh, yeah, we only had two Raichus in the, in the starting deck, so that's why it was a little slow to get out. We still have the GX. Uh, we can't pull the GX without another energy, but I recycle that. Kind of makes you feel like even three Super Rods could be useful. Could be. We'll save, the, we'll save all two energies still, though. All right. Dawn Wing the Crossma. This one comes out the wounded one, but he... Because he's been taking the Pachi Resus, he can't do the super good Moon Eclipse here. Which can KO a Raichu. It might act... The condition might activate. There we go! Has to have the Guzma. Energy Recycler! Let's see, this now Floatstone. It still needs to put an energy right here. Oh, he's got Invasion. He's got Invasion. Okay, so there. Yeah. See? That's why I didn't leave the go... Uh... What the in the world? <laughs> I just need to thin my hand. He didn't want the- he didn't have enough energies to get the KO, I see. But he wants to expose it up front right now, but then I can retreat it. I think- I think if maybe he missed- he didn't see that. Okay, Raichu. All three- three Raichus are now available. You know, can't- can't get, let it go away. He can move the energies off. Go in there. That's my Guzma, so we both have the Guzma there. Powerful Spark! 
There we go. There are no more energies on his side of the field. There are no more energies on the side of the field. So at this point, I I think I'm close. I think I'm close. He was missing a he was missing a draw for that turn. He's got him. He's got him. But no, he only had Guzma. He's bricked. Nope. Hey, that, that's not it. Not yet. He's like, uh oh. I don't got Banana Master here. I've been greedy. Ooh, Parallel City. Oh, we didn't want to do that. We want a Parallel City. Hey, Mew. It's like I'm a sec. You know, I'm you. I'm always here for Buzzwall, but right now, hmm, hmm. Okay, who needs an energy? You need an energy. We're gonna parallel. We're gonna parallel. Why? Because you don't need a Pachirisu in your bench, nor do you need a wounded Tepo Coco. That's just three prize cards that's gonna be give up in the future. So we're gonna do powerful spark. All right, there we go. And it's Bridget. Hi, Bridget! I was missing you the first turn, and it's like, you didn't need me. You had all the nest balls, you had everything there. Alright, Lunala, the big Lunala comes out. Uh, let's see, he can move energies anywhere he wants, so... He can uh, definitely attack and definitely GX. He can GX the Pikachu, I think. Ooh, baby Lunala! Definitely gonna need that, but he also... Can he switch? Yeah, ooh, Professor Sycamore. Alright. Flow, the flow battle is catching up now. He's got, got the, 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 the one moment where he couldn't, couldn't get any cards. So, uh, if he can just retreat. If he can just retreat. That's all he needs. Yeah, I think he's got the max potions to heal this thing off if I pop my, try, pop my GX. Alright, so I'm gonna need to draw supporters. I'm gonna rake my deck up with actually just Guzma and, uh, and Cynthia's. I actually want Gizmas. Alright, I don't think I can get a KO, so we're just gonna go for... Oh, you gotta fix that acoustic version. 190! 190 damage! Okay. That's wounded, he can still move his energies off, and that max potion is really, really, really good with this. So, three energies here, float stone. It wants that on this Pokémon. So he can get that back. He can GX this, but... This is the guy you want to attack with. I don't have Guzma. I'm stuck. I am completely stuck here. So if I take any Pokemon out with the next uh, hit, the game, my GX is still there. So if suddenly, if we have a sudden Tapu Coco, no, he's not. No, he's gone. There's no sudden Tapu Cocos. Mew. He needs two energies to retreat. So that's okay. Two energies to retreat. That's enough. Sound the Lunala. But I have enough damage to get a KO on this. Full Moon Star, and that's my last prize card right there. Like, my base damage is 160, so I think that's enough. So I'll put a smiley face. Yeah, you can get a lot. Well, I paralleled my city. That's still a lot of energies back. Here we go. Powerful Spark. And that's all I gotta do. That's the only move I can do, too. Actually, is that enough? I think it's eight. Yeah. Just go. It's like, no, it's not enough. 160 was exactly enough. Had to hesitate. That was exactly enough. Good game, uh, Dark Drag Neo. Good game, good game. Okay. So, yeah. Alrighty then. So, this is a rematch. This time around, I'll be going second. Yeah, I think I went first last time. And uh, Dark Drag Neo, yeah, he's, he's going to get me this time, right? So, wow. I don't mind. I'll take that. I'll take the extra cards. Pachirisu. Definitely go down the bench. Just in case of a reshuffle there. So uh, let's get started. Now we uh, gotta change the remix up. This remix is from another 3D RPG. And is probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I really, really love this game. And if you know what this remix is, you know the actual song is 10 times way better than, than my imitation of it. So that's how I feel. The real one. Epic, 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 epic of this RPG. So, you know it, we can be friends, man. Let's go. All right. I probably have my, so many Pokemons on the bench, I don't even need Bridget. So many Nest Balls. I think that's actually true, Donald. Let me see what's in the deck. Bridget's here. But look at that, Donald. You have so many nest balls that you don't even need a bridge at turn one. Just play an ult. Just play Professor Sycamore at this point. Just play Professor Sycamore. Let's do that. We got two removal to anything to remove. 
No? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Bridget! You're just... Well, not what I need right now. Here, you can have a big giant card pool here if you can. We got an Ultra Ball for another turn. Choice man. Don't need to toss those down yet. I mean, they're nice for thinning, but... If I need an emergency, if I need an emergency uh, type of Coco, I can do that. I'm not gonna be greedy with that last bench space, okay? Let's save. He might have two removals on his side. Snuggly generator. Go ahead and click on everything here. Get all four Pikachus up. It'll max up your bench space. And the last one gets it for you. Da -da 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 -da. Watch out! You only have Raichu GX! Really? Well, that sucks. Thank you for noticing that. Well, that means that you're, we are priority to Super Odd soon. Now, this can jump in any time. And it looks like he bricked again. That kind of stinks. However, I don't want to I don't want to end. Like if I end, that's gonna be a little too 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 much for my side. So we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do one more snuggly generator, okay? And we'll probably Cynthia. Okay, let's start. Let's start uh let's start being serious. I'm gonna save that ultra ball and energy. Let's just Cynthia. Get a fresh hand right here. Super odd, well. Give him that there. It's not time to super odds. Only get me one card back. I don't want to expose everything just yet. We'll drop the parallel on his side just to harm Bridget and stuff. And I'm going to snuggly generator one more time. One, two, three, four. That's my whole deck's worth of energies. I don't have any more energies left in my deck, guys. I mean, you guys better... You, you Pikachu's better do work after this. I mean, he's probably pretty... Ooh, he's got no draws. Oh, there we go. There's his first draw. Now he's gonna catch up. First one. Two turns in. If I look at this, at this time, this bench looks pretty, pretty, pretty darn impressive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me check if somebody on Twitch actually found out uh, what this remix is. Not yet. Not yet. But it's insane. I'm sure you guys on YouTube. Yeah! You Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Stop talking about it. Focus! 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 Hmm. Teleport! I'm out of here. You can take this. Uh, you can take this baby right here. Okay. We got a Coco too. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this onto here. I. That's. A, we gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I wanna. I'm gonna keep momentum. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this. I'm gonna pop it early. I would say it's early, is it? Let's go ahead and send Coco in. Yep. You can take the one off the Pachirisu. You can take the one off the Floatstone guy. And you can take the one off the XP Share guy. We're done. Put the energy on... On the uh, Floatstone guy. Play the play the early early Raichu. Because you only have one or two Raichus in your deck. Yeah. Well we're gonna guarantee that out. Alright, Cynthia, I think I can afford to lose ya. I may need the extra bench space in the future. Two Raichus now, there we go. First Raichu, I better just get it out there. This one's got three energies. I don't want that no Guzmas, no nothing to happen to you. So this He's gonna have a GX available after this. I think I'll be able to pl still play through it though. So we're gonna Sky High Claw. We took a prize card. Then again, it made me feel better. He can't get a KO on this as easily without a choice ban. Yeah, so we still have one more Super Odd. Still. Still. Should be okay. We still have a... We can play around that with this card too when he uses his GX. As GX is enough to get the KO. Uh, he needs... He can jump in right away, take away the Parallel City. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Forgot about that GX. Didn't have to worry about it last time, but this GX is annoying. Dude, luckily the counter is right here. And I do have one more Super Rod then, too. Okay. Remix does sound familiar, though, this player, Mod John. Mm. Invasion! Revenge with the GX! Mine's up, too. So, what this GX does, he, he, I cannot counterattack. If I sent out my Raichu to attack, it probably would have been smarter because he wouldn't have to be able to get the KO. However, XP share, I get to keep that energy, and I think that's it. 
And now the super odd, the last super odd will be okay. However, the counter to part of his GX move I have right here. If I want to. I think I'm about to do that. Hey, super odd! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my last super odd. Uh, the more right you are in the deck, and I'm going to use the counter right now. Yeah, would you like to search your deck for another supporter? Yes, I do. Guzma. So because he is immune right now, this will move his immunity. That one's protected. This one's not. Go ahead and bring it right there. And I think this is enough to use a uh, powerful spark. Yeah, there we go. Powerful spark. And that is two prize guards. There we go. So we bypassed the GX. The GX still gave him a big burst. That gave him the KO. And I, he was supposed to keep a uh, stay, stay in battle. He was supposed to have a immunity shield, and that would have been annoying. I would have taken another 120 damage. But hey, he's got another one ready to go. He's got another one ready to go. Da -da -da -da. Shut up. Focus. Uh, the big Lunala may come up, and the big Lunala is very tanky. I cannot one shot that. But S Prism Star Lunala is up. I have got a full bench, and he only has one energy right now. However, however, Psy Storm has enough to KO me. Psy Storm is enough to KO. There are tons of energies on my side. Psy Storm does more damage, the more energies there are. So that's gonna just blow me out of the water. Yeah. And if he evolves this, if he evolves this Cosmoan right here, it's gonna be a disaster if he's able to get that Psy Storm off one of my Raichus. It's worth it. One prize card, one hit KO. Ooh, I might not be able to KO him back. I lost my Coco. I think actually Coco might come back. Coco can GX, still has the GX up, so our son Coco may change the future of the battle. So, you, he definitely wants to keep that loot, Nala. He's gonna retreat that somehow, even send this guy in. Although, oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna get a KO on this. This is a one head kill move. You wanna expose that right now? Okay. You get an energy. We're gonna look for. We're going to look for Guzma now. There's one right there. There's a parallel. I could parallel my side, or I could parallel his side. If I parallel my side, I'm not gonna. I don't know. This can get a Pikachu. It doesn't matter too much. If I parallel, I can remove the Tapu Lele. He wouldn't mind. And I can remove the Pachirisu too. But I don't need to. So we are just gonna go ahead and use Dot Thunder, powerful spark. Get a big 220 damage there. And keep on going with our momentum. Didn't find out what I need, but a lot of cards are still here. I like this lightning version of Turbo Dark Rive. <laughs> yeah, it's it turns out it works out if you're able to get those uh, get the Pachirisus uh, going. Okay, so that is up. It doesn't have a one hit KO. Guzma brings out the baby Pikachu. Oh, we got an XP share. She was like, "Don't worry, brothers. Us brothers got you." Da -da 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 -da. That's it. And at this point, I do not need to use my. Uh, my, uh, my, my, uh, I'm not sure how much damage I have, actually. But I think I have enough. If I just put this right here, I can't evolve the Raichu, but I'm just gonna end the game. I have a Tapu Koko to win this, too. Yeah, Tapu Koko would do 300 damage. So we are gonna go. We are just gonna end it right here, not waste our time for any style. Take it be. GG again, uh, Dark Red Neo. Good game! Ah, if only that, if only that Lunala evolved, that, that Prism Star, boom! Ooh, that would have, uh, exploded my face for a lot of damage. Yeah, that would have been cool. Alright, that is it. Good game again, Dragneo. Alright, welcome to another. This is, uh, Pachirisu. I said it net correct. This is Pachirisu Raichu GX match. Alright, so this is, uh, we're gonna play my remix of Crossing Fields, which is sang by Crossbreed. Probably. Yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Oh, this is from Sword Online. Ooh, Zora Arc and uh, Gardevoir. Now, I'm afraid of the Gardevoir because it one hits me. It's a tier above me. It one hits me and I cannot one hit it back. Well, I can one hit it back once. 
So, we definitely want to open up with a Bridget ourselves. There she is, right up front. He's like, I miss you, Donald. Hi. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play this. Get all four Pikachus down. And this Ultra Ball could be Banana Master or it could be a Raichu. And I also could throw Pachirisu down as well. To get a fourth energy down. Maximize my energy counts. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not going to mess the UI on Snuggly Generator up. So it's a bit weird. I messed up in the game before. So Snuggly Generator. Click every single energy there is. Click done. Now start clicking on the Pikachus. And only the Pikachu cares about the Pikachu. It seems like... Well, I click on the Pikachu automatically because I want it on them. But I didn't notice I didn't have to click on the Pachirisu at the back. It's like, don't worry. I'm always going to get an energy for my buddy friends. You can decide. Well, it's, just leave it be. Just leave it be. You have to manually click on these Pikachu. It's like, we want to be feel love. We want to be petted. You have to pet the Pikachus. You must pet the Pikachu, but Pachirisu gets no love. Don't focus what the game is going on. Yeah, it's a Zorark. Turn one Zorark. That's a, you always, you're always a prize guard down if you go second that way, so that's how it goes, so well. The God of War Gyarados makes not expanded deck? Yeah, there are lots of nice expanded decks around. Satoshi has redeemed personal deck reveal. Ooh! We'll have to talk about that one later, Satoshi. Okay! So, focusing back on the game, another Bridget! Yeah, the thing about what Bridget is... Okay, and Mew comes out and it's like, yeah, there's a buzzwell somewhere here. Well, we can, uh, we're gonna lose one of these, but we can, uh, you know, the best card to send out is another Pachirisu, right? Yeah, let's do that. Now, I'm pretty sure he's stuck, so I could... Let's go ahead and play a Nest Ball. I think I have another Pikachu up. Yep, and I'm not gonna play N, because I know he is stuck. Let's put another energy right here. Let's go ahead and play Cynthia right now, too. Let's hope we can find some uh, XP shares. Alrighty, Parallel City. Let's go ahead and drop it in right now. Weaken this uh, Zorark's damage. Force him to refill his bench. Parallel City. Probably gonna toss off the Mew. Maybe another Zorark because there are three of them. You know, keep the keep the balance. Yeah, yeah. Mew goes off too. Okay, so that's that's why it's so good. Now we we always have a sin we always have something here. Let's go ahead and snugly generator again. Remember, put every single thing. What happens? They're all Pikachu's this time, right? Yeah, pet the Pikachu, pet the Pikachu, pet this Pikachu, and the last one's automatic, so it doesn't matter. The last one's just automatic there. So we pretty much filled our bench with energies. We're just hoping the Guzma doesn't come in and get this Pikachu there, but we'll super rod it back. We have two super rods. That's a very good number. And Parallel City's really hurting the Zorark's damage because it wants friends. And we just pretty much cut cut his friends uh, out. But it's really nice to you won't be able to junk all these cards that you don't need. There we go. Parallel City gets removed. We're just going to drop it on again. Go ahead, throw it on your bench. Actually, I may want access to uh, I may want access to uh, Tapu Coco to just the Goose Mountain finish. And that's something I didn't have last time. But it depends. It depends. Well, this is gonna get him a draw supporter. So very, very luckily, he had he had this and this to combo together. If he was missing this, he couldn't have played it through the parallel city. So we will see. We will see what's up. Luckily, the big big guys have come up. We're gonna save our Tapu Koko's GX for the first Guard of War, and then hopefully, you know, steamroll him through the, the rest. It's Mallow! Alright, so Mallow's not a draw, but you can load up whatever two cards, even four cards you want with this, so probably, possibly the best choice. This means Guard of War is gonna show up. Guard of War is gonna show up. And we'll see what we need to do. I can attack again, and that means I have no one. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably shouldn't attack again. I probably should. Well, I'm going to lose a prize card. We definitely want to go into battle again. This is the next turn. Hopefully pull Pokemon deck attack, get Cynthia out. Yeah. I think I might have enough energies with a choice man to KO, too. One, two, three, four. Wow, you parallel city me, you jerk. Okay, we'll throw that off, and we're going to lose an energy here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna have, let me see what this card goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven energies with the choice man is I don't know. Seven energies with the choice man is 
not enough for KO. So I only have a two shot, so I better send this one out then. Well, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna Parallel City you. Take that. And I'll put the Parallel City here because I know it really hurts your damage. And I'm gonna need it. It, it helps my right just survive, so here we go. Two can play. It's a, it's a war. It's a war. Uh, let's go ahead and put the choice band up. XP share on this guy. Floatstone, we're probably gonna save it to a card we need. Now with you guys gonna evolve. Let's get one Raichu out, man. Yeah, or there's one Raichu. Can get another energy up too. So let's see, I would have nine energies. That's a lot. I'm thinking about using Nest Ball. But I wanna save it for my gut that nah, you know what whatever card I'm losing, it's this. Let's go ahead and play this Nest Ball. I think I should have saved it. Actually, Banana Master would be good. Now, uh, I guess we have to put the energy somewhere. You can put the Choice Band right here. Can't put this right here. I'm worried if I put another energy, it may help this guard of war get the KO. And I want to make that hard, make it hard as possible. So I may put the energy into the Banana Master instead. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull two more cards. I have nine energies on my side of the field. With the choice, I don't know how this works. Powerful Spark, go for it. One shot KO! Exactly the number that you need. With two energies here, we're going to try to make it hard for that guard of war as possible uh, to get the KO, since he's not holding three right there. Dark gonna grow a question for you. Okay. Well, I'll see. Uh, I'll see if I. Uh, uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Well, I'll see if I can answer your question. But it hasn't been asked yet. It's just this question for you. Okay, so one shot. The we took revenge for our Pachi Risu brethren, and Mallow. Yeah, Mallow. Mallow doesn't give you as many cards selection, but hey, man, you still get the you get the exact two cards you need. Meaning he can only get two cards. Well, the uh, one of uh, one of his buddies is gone. We don't have Guzmas. This may be, yeah. Now, now towards the towards the end of the deck, you want the Guzma. Oh man, you got another. That parallel city's still up. Wait a minute. It's, I think it's facing on his side. I think it's my, uh, yeah. It's facing on his side. He can't throw anything down. You see how p the parallel city hurts each other. It especially hurts this because it doesn't put his damage uh, as high. So that's why it's there. It hurts me. Definitely hurts this deck because I can't get as much value as uh, Pachirisu if it goes on early, which it did in what earlier on the stream here. All right, ah, this deck is probably very meta. The one I'm using, oh, this this uh, other deck is meta. God of War GX. I mean, you had you won the last tournament and not not tournament. You won the last World Championship, and this is just another version of yeah. Hi, God of War GX. Well, you know I'm saving a bench space. Oh, he really wanted that card. I guess it does have fighting the fight the weakness bonus. I can see that. Now I see that. And then he'll order the cards he wants, so then uh it looks like he's really hurt with the momentum. I may just end to, you know, mess up the the combo there. So put energy here. Gonna retreat and give us Gallade and take the one hit KO. Alright. You know. There it goes. I don't have another attacker. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, because I'm so low on prize cards, I'll probably have to Cynthia. I'm sorry, low on card pulls. This is only gonna get me four cards, and this is gonna get me a lot. So, I keep the energy, right? I keep, there we go. That's what it's waiting for. He's like, you don't forget, send the guy with a free retreat out. All right, so, here we go. Wow, we pulled it right away. Well, I'm gonna keep the one that XP share, not put it in the battle last. Here we go, Banana Master, you can have this. We, uh, actually, we don't have to, we could end. We could end, really mix up, uh, his cards. Do we need, do I need more cards right now? Maybe, yes. You know, it's, uh, he, uh, he's got that right there. He's got that, so I don't, uh, I don't wanna mess with that. He'll be able to, he's, yeah, he'll be able to do something. Uh, Super Odd, Super Odd, do I want more energies back in my deck? I think I do. This is actually a very, very good hand, so I don't care. He 
You sure you don't want to make sure you want to land another Raichu, Donald? Okay, I'll put that as a uh, backup. We'll definitely Ultra Ball, let's see. <sighs> Let me see. What, what, what's the best attack to take this out? I still have my GX. I'm going to save it for God of War. I don't need these two card pools. I still can squeeze the extra card in, so... Let's get Raichu. Let's get Raichu out. Guarantee, guarantee this. I don't have to... I have all my Pokemons are ready for the final battle to come. Pulling one extra card here, too. And N, a draw supporter, not really a draw supporter for next turn, but we'll go ahead and retreat. We have Thunder. We've got the Thunder! That gets the K on the Galane. Take that. That's gonna, that stings a little bit, but I mean, that, that is a weakness. Unfortunately, it had weakness to get damage against me. But I'll take that, take that there. Cynthia has a max N for the users only Dark and Roll. Will this be video be on YouTube? Because I want to rewatch what happened before I came before. Pro might be, maybe. It may be. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Go scroll up. If not, you can still you can still go back to the Twitch and you know you can still go on Twitch and uh, go back and look at that. Ooh, that showed up on the bench. However, Donald, you learned your lesson with Full Pie, right? What was your lesson with Full Pie? You were greedy, you went for Coconut Master, and uh, instead of going for the threats, if the threats show up, which is Guard of War GX, you gotta take it down. And right now, there isn't enough energies on this side. I still have a Paralysis GX, which is good. My GX, but uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be really, really careful. Puzzles of time. He's trying to get everything uh, to uh, line up there. Hello, Uber. Why use Thunder when the first attack gets to KO? You have a good point. I didn't do the math correctly. I was like, you know 160 is enough for the, the, there, but well, hang on, you had 3, you had this, you had enough, you didn't have to take 30 damage there. So, yeah, thanks for catching me up for that. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I messed that up. Okay, so let me see, what our damage, what is our damage right now? 8. We lost an energy, so we don't have enough to KO this. That looks like a threat. And I have 2 Guzmas, hey? Now we have enough damage to KO. Ah, uh, I can even get Zorark too. I learned my lesson. I'm gonna do that. I don't care. I don't care if I can get a KO through uh, anything I want. I'm gonna use Powerful Spark. Very, very close to victory now. In. The, that that energy that he had right there may have comboed into something that would have been dangerous. So it may have gotten the energy enough energy counts to get the KO, which is 180, which maybe that powerful spark that thunder is gonna hurt me in the end. So he's sending Ralts out, he just wants that one hit KO there. DC goes up, does he have the rare candy combo to get through? Maybe. He doesn't need he doesn't need Gardevoir GX. He can just go for the baby Galade, and that's gonna be enough there. And if we don't yeah. And that would be game, actually. That would be the game. The end of the game right there. I wouldn't have enough prize cards to still stay alive for another turn. And it would be my, one of my fault for choosing the wrong, the wrong card. I'll say well played. Puzzle of time. It looks like he's lined up everything for a guard of war. Ouch. He's like, I did it! I found a Gallade! And rare candy! And I'm gonna one-shot you! Ouch! Well, there it goes. Uh, nothing I can do to prevent- Maybe, maybe if I could've stopped the two pools here. Instead of- instead. Yeah! In that case, we will've lost the weakness damage. He has to play N for that damage. So, yeah, you lost your weakness. Boo! He didn't have to work for the big God of War to take you down. Alright! Double damage, I'll keep the energy, we'll leave it be. We'll leave it be. That's how it goes, guys. That's how it goes. GG. GG. Well, maybe the first full, uh, Raichu GX Pachirisu match. I'm gonna play my remix of Red from Pokemon's, uh, the original, uh, Pokemon game. Actually, I think Red came in, uh, his theme song came more around in, uh, 
soul silver. Heart gold, soul silver. So let's hope it with Bridget. We need this card as well as our Pikachus. Now, of course, Coconut Master shouldn't belong up front. So we're going to go ahead and retreat it. And to the back. And we'll begin the Snuggly Generators next turn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pay a sacrifice. I need to destroy these two energies. Oh, that goes a bit of my damage, but I need more cards. So this could be... Uh, this could be another Coconut Master, or this could be Banana Master. It's tough. It is a tough decision. I open, already opened with Bridget, okay? So you can't play another Draw Supporter yet. But I'm going to play Banana Master. I get the two extra cards. I'd rather have him be on my bench. And see what we get. Oh, not bad. This is actually <laughs> this combo very nice. It's like, oh, I'm not really all right, you. Comes in, here comes a sudden top of Coco. So this comes up. It will one-shot. It has enough damage to one-shot our Raichu GX once it fully evolves. It needs a choice man, though. So Ascension, he's like, I'm confident this is going to live. Yeah, he hasn't... You kind of do want to go attack second. Because then you get the energies faster somewhat that way. All right, so I... Let's see what I want to do. I'm going to put the energy right here. I could hold on to... I could hold on to these... To the Coconut Master, Tapu Coco. And that might be the strongest move. Or I could go for Raichu GX. If I play Professor Sycamore, I'm going to have a bigger setup. Yes, I'll lose the Coco, but I think the bigger setup is going to be more important. All right, so... We're going to throw this down. We're definitely going to play a Super Rod because... Dang, there's some cards I needed right there. We might actually need more Super Rods, too. So with this many energies, you know, it's going to be better. This Raichu should evolve. I think it's safe. You, this is not compatible with Guzma. Guzma can pull this card out. Oh, you can't evolve it. It does it, it, it unevol it, it removes the doesn't know the nuzzle move anymore. So you can only get two. Oh, okay. That's something uh that's something you gotta think about though. There we go. So that's still three energies, but had I not evolved the right like, why why am I evolving it? You know, just to safety, just to protect it. Doesn't work that way, Donald. You gotta not do that. So, here it comes. We still have one extra Parichisu. We're gonna give up energy every time this thing goes down, though. So it's only 100 damage. Alright, I can... My powerful spark is not enough to uh, get through it. Yeah, and these things are holding on to the energies, which is good for scaling, but they're not useful later. At all. So, if I... Had I held off not evolving the Raichu, I would have enough to use Thunder and knock out this uh, Garchomp. But now, I'm gonna be behind because of that. Okay, okay. I'm getting there. Play Mojob. Yeah, may our deck clash uh, against another. Whatever it, that dies, it takes energy with it. If you hold the uh, XP share, it'd actually be good. Been listening. Ooh, Satoshi's getting a beat. Congratulate. Well, uh, congratulations. That's a, that's a really powerful, powerful device. Now. Focusing back on here. He's got his guard champ set up. He needs another one. I missed my opportunity for a KO. Um, actually, if I can get a Coco in there, it will, I can still GX this and it will be worth it. We're gonna Wally, huh? Alrighty then. Wally, get a second one of these out, but he has to play. He doesn't, didn't play Cynthia. Alright, Royal Blaze. There it goes. So we'll send the Coconut Master with a free retreat out. We're probably going to retreat into this. Okay, I'll play Parichisu down. The energy needs, still needs to go into this Pokemon right here. We can get one more extra Carpo. I don't need, uh, I don't need to pull, play Guzma just yet. Let's go ahead and play Cynthia. I don't want to give him two free cards for nothing. Alright, so Parallel City is very, very powerful. So we got to throw that down so he can't fill up his bench anymore. And that is going to be it. We're going to get one more uh, value out of this... Uh, nuzzle, Snuggly Generator. We could have got... Yeah, we could have uh, not... Don't don't evolve your Raichus too early. Snuggly Generator! Here they go. Our... Pachirisu. Pachirisu and Pikachu. You gotta start practicing this. Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Your name is Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Giving up another prize card. Evil Soda. There are two of them up. Ooh, some... Uh... Some uh, enhanced hammers. Uh, one enhanced hammer might have to be at. But the setup is pretty going pretty well. It was just a. Uh, uh oh, that thing's coming up. It won't be able to get a KO without the choice man, though, so we'll hope that he doesn't pull that. Alright. 
Hey Donald, why not add Wagner to this deck? You know, Wagner might not be so bad. Wagner gets you an energy, and Wagner uh, gets you an item. So, we lost, unfortunately lost, uh, getting heavy casualties here. Uh, still, I have not scaled into a point where I can get one-shots with uh, this. However, I can get the KO, though. And if I use Thunder, it's gonna just, well, yeah, it's gonna be too, a little too, um, not so good. Alright, so I don't see any GX, this is why I'm gonna destroy this. N is not as useful right now, actually I am gonna play N, but he won't be as useful later. So we're gonna send in our Coco, Tapu Coco, and use some of, uh, use some of this, this stuff, this energy uh, stuff. So, here we go, let's go ahead and send it in. Move energies off this card, because you don't need it. I hate to take it off the Pikachu, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to attach it on after we end. Nope, that's it. That's it, send it in. We're gonna have to GX it, so let's go ahead and end, shrink his hand just a bit. And that is all we can do. Alright, so he's gonna have to play Cynthia. He... No, actually, he does have to play Cynthia. Energy, next energy goes through here. I mean, you need to fight. We have to GX, because I don't have anything attack that does enough damage. 200, take it out, and Tapu Koko does not have the HP to survive. He has to play a Cynthia. Let's see, has he played Cynthia? Not yet, so they're all four of them are still lower in this deck, so we'll expect to see that get KO'd. But uh, I do have another GX back of ready, but dang, he's gonna be very, very close to winning uh, after this. Uh, we'll try to charge up another one of these, these Pikachus, and you know, XP shares will be very nice to keep the energy of these energies once they go down. We'll uh, add it in there. Good morning, uh, Tin Soul. Jin Soul. All right, Cynthia, he got Cynthia, but does he have a DCE? We will see. DCE, everything clicked, and that means Tapu Koko will be defeated. Looking at the energy counts in the discard, you probably need multiple soup rods, so we'll go ahead and fix that afterwards. Add an XP share as well. Add in an XP share, or two, because when these Pachi Risus go down, you want to keep that one energy they have. All right, Royal Blades. Okay, but he does not have another Gibble uh, up right here. That still has Rare Candy involved. That still needs two turns to charge up, but he's very close to victory. And the stadium is probably uh, doing uh, wonders. So we'll go ahead and throw this up here. There's nothing else I can do except Cynthia and try to find my own cards. I got a lot of two removals, but I have not seen a single Poco tool come through his side. All right, uh, who goes down on the bench? I'm not sure. I might need that. I only have two bench spaces left, so there's not much I can do for that. We're gonna KO this guard chop. There's not another one ready. And uh, if if one suddenly starts up, it's still not right to fight. It still needs absolutely needs two turn. And we may use that bench space for a Guzma because if that comes out, I'm just gonna get one shot. It so I have to you know try to deny uh, try to deny as dime as much as possible. He's gonna play Brock. Well, there is a lot of Garchomp uh, items, uh, well, Garchomp, the whole evolution line's down there, so we gotta do something about that. Uh, Saltfire, th thoughts on Zorark GX and Decidueye? An expanded, I'm not sure what the expanded meta, but Zorark Decidueye works in the standard, so... Yeah, we made a deck out of that last, uh, last expansion. It worked pretty well! Yeah, you use uh, Zorark uh, Decidueye, helps Zorark's damage, they're both super consistent. I hope you don't meet me and Glacee on GX. Because that would destroy that. Alright, so Sushi Master's up front. He can't play anything else. If we defeat the Sushi Master, and maybe if we end, he'll be stuck and he'll be uh, brick the game. Pal Pad, getting back, uh, let's see, probably Guzman. Maybe end? I'm not sure. Uh, we could go... Uh, it depends if this evolves. If this evolves, I am going to be worried. I will play uh, Typo Lele to Guzman, but if this is not evolving, we're going to end then. Hang on, we need to play an energy first. We'll throw the Pikachu down. We're gonna throw Choice Bands down just to help, uh, that's to help my draws. So, here we go, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna shrink his hand to nothing, but he's gonna lose that card. Alrighty then, so I'm, once again, I'm still thinning. Let me see. I can use that to evolve Raichu. I don't wanna really discard the energy though, cause I know, look at the energy, there's six energies there. Uh, so I'm gonna, I don't know, let's go ahead and just use Powerful Spark, this should be a, yeah, this shit's enough, 120 damage, and without a method to, uh, without Sushi Master, you can't draw more cards. There's some Nest Balls, great at the start, but, uh, eh, when you open with Bridges, yeah, whatever, Nest Balls. Alright, Gibble comes out, 
Cynthia, ooh, it'd be Cynthia's rare candy, energy, I'm game. I mean, that's fate, man, that is fate. That is fate. And he's like, oh, no, I can't, uh, oh, he may get the back one. I mean, one of the, one of them, he just needs one of them to grow up and one-shot my Raichu GX. So he's gonna retreat this one. In that case, I may need the healthy Raichu GX, because the healthy one he can't KO. So we better try to retreat that and just be safe, okay? So if I do this right here, have I a retreat? Yes, I lose an energy. However... We need to thin these two. It's okay, having more cards. I want a Guzma available in my hand. Yeah, now we have uh, too many of these. Let's go ahead and use a powerful spark. It's just a Gibble. So this is gonna make him a little look for... Yeah, look for a uh, choice ban. You gotta have choice ban in order to KO this. So the nice extra hit, that 10 extra hit points makes the whole world of difference. And it looks like he's he's out of gas. Bridget. I'd say Bridget was not as useful uh, later, but... Go. Oh, yeah. Only two Pokemons. Remorade. Got another Sushi Master. Got another Gibble. Two Gibbles are in the discard, so one of these, these have to evolve quickly and one-shot this. So there's this, uh, there's this ace in the hole right there. He's gotta evolve this. He's got to, got to evolve this, but he also needs a choice man, so... I mean, it could happen. We don't know where our Guzma is. No idea. And you know what? I am don't. These are all junk. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy because I don't want to keep on drawing all these junk here. There's our Guzma. There's two removals. There's been no Poke Tools so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Powerful Spark. Unless he has some way to uh, to lock me down, maybe with a random Guzma. No, I got Guzma in my hand. You can't get me stuck. I think this is it. We, uh, yeah. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't keep his momentum up. Didn't see, didn't see that Lucario there. I mean, the both, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll just be able to get it out. Two energies. Can he, uh, he needs a lot. Now that wasn't a DCE. That's telling me he can't attack me. Well, he can't get the KO. He cannot get the KO uh, in the next Falling Burn. Now Cynthia, yeah, you got Cynthia to e enable the bonus of, uh, Garchomp. I think he shouldn't have played that energy. I should have waited. Like, if you don't have DC, like, this turn is the only turn you got to take me out. You've got to play that Cynthia, and it has to land everything. It has to land Rare Candy, it has to land Guard Chop, and it has to land Choice Band. And it goes. So he pulled the Wally out. So he got stuck at the end. He got stuck at the end, we were able to squeeze through. Woo! All right, Gabite, you're up. Ascension. And I have enough damage to take the KO, to take my last prize card. Hello there, Garchomp. All I gotta do is just use Thunder. GG. All right, that's that. Oh, we get lucky at the end there. And the 30 damage puts him to where I don't need to KO you. I don't need the uh, choice man to get the KO. All right. There. Well, looks like you made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this Turbo Raichu deck. So. Let's break it down. Let me tell you how I really think about this deck. Here we go. So, unique trait. What's the biggest thing about Raichu? You can get lots of energy quickly. Yeah. Your whole... All your Pokemons will be charged by turn maybe three or four. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to give you five out of five. You have no energies left in your deck. if just drawn, you know, all the stuff that you need left. Yeah, what else? Damage. Five out of five. This can achieve one-hit KO uh, potential. It can spam the powerful spark, but your opponent has to do something about that to get rid of it. Because if nothing is done, nothing special is done, then you just keep it. So what kind of special thing could that be? Reducing the energy counts somehow, either discarding or killing the Raichus that have tons of energies. Yeah, Raichu with three energies has 90 damage, so mm, it may be difficult to maintain that. What else? Uh, setup. You will be behind in prize cards. You're giving up your turn two, your turn three, so you can get Pachirisu charges out. Your opponent will definitely set up before you. And they made you get that enough to go Guzma start the, the weakened Pikachus out, so... That is a guarantee. You will not be ready by turn two. And many decks are. Absolutely. Buzzwall's like, <laughs> Yeah, you can one-shot me, but I'm just way ahead of you, so... Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, defense, it's normal. You don't have anything keep helping you, keeping you alive a little bit longer. 210 is default, and you're giving up some prize cards to Pachirisus. 
Because you're trying to go for the big setup at the back. Okay, so decorating. The final decorating. Everything added together. The plus is to say that it's better than Turbo Dark Rye. That's because the biggest uh, thing between Dra Dragonair and this card. This is a basin. It's much easier to set up in Dragonair. So I find that more reliable and a big improvement. Although it doesn't have that cool Prism Star and Guzzlord. It's uh, it's more reliable. Not things that I find more reliable. I'm just going to give you a little bit better score compared to that thing. Alright, it works. Weakness! I think this is considered the weakness of many decks. It really makes a difference. Uh, you don't have the bench space. You just can't really use the ability. You kind of can... But it's, you know, kind of limited. You want that full five, four energies. It's not just three. Okay, so that is, uh, that's about it. All right, so uh, uh, upgrades. I think I tuned it pretty nicely. It'd just be small cards here, there, that you want to take out the balances. Yeah, so that is it. What is up for next time? Huh, do we want to do something? Let me see. Not sure if I'm going to show you my strongest decks just yet. Let's go on, uh, we did show something new, so I'm gonna go try something, uh, updated. I will show you what the strongest steel deck is. That'll be up for next time, Sogaleo. Necrozma is not the strongest steel deck, it is up there. Truly, Sogaleo GX is the strongest steel deck right now. It may not be popular yet, this thing destroys GX deck and it destroys pretty much most of the decks I've made so far this month. It is high tier. Very, very high tier. I'm going to show you what an updated version looks like next time. So, oh, you're busting out the big stuff. Okay, so that is uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much, Integros Differentials. Please like, subscribe. Really helps us out. Uh, I stream live on Twitch. Basically, if you, uh, you're you in the loop, you know when they come. Yeah, that's just uh, the way I can put it. Follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when new things are happening out. Mainly deck videos. My Discord link is above my head, as well as the ceiling. Yes, there's definitely a ceiling. And uh, my covers are found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. It is there. We put new ones in February out March. No, May. May is when the next uh, set comes out. So, yeah. You're probably listening to some of them. Anyways, thank you very much, and the girls and the Frenchals. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.